Hello everyone, I am Srinath, your Polity faculty for this course. So in this course, I'll be taking you through the Polity as a subject and I'll be explaining you what are the uses of studying Polity from various perspectives. Okay, so first we will see why study Indian Polity, one of the most basic question which anybody will be having because when you're preparing for UPSC, you will have an misconception saying okay polity is just to clear the UPSC okay so here what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through three different ways in which studying polity is going to help you in your life so first one from the UPSC perspective okay from the UPSC perspective we'll split the polity as a subject into two stratas first one is for prelims and second one is for mains so for prelims if you see the trend of last 10 years on an average, you will be getting around 15 questions from the polity, which is very, very important. Okay, so getting all the 15 questions right in polity is not much of difficulty. But still, if you see the last one or two years of paper, the polity paper has also become very analytical, just like your any other subject. So probably you will have to go in deep rather than just doing certain basic books. Okay. So what are the books to study? I'll take you through by end of this video. So, okay. For the first thing, when it comes to prelims, close to 15 questions on an average, you can expect from the polity as a subject. So very, very important. Next. Going to the most important part of your UPSC, which is mains, which will decide whether you are going to clear the exam or not. Prelims is just like a gate pass what you will be getting. Clearing prelims will have no effect on your main scores, but scoring in mains is very, very important. So polity as a subject, the entire GS2 paper is of polity. So not just this paper, but if you study polity, it is going to help you in every other paper, irrespective of whatever is your optionals as well. Essay paper, definitely it is going to help you in both the essays, whichever essay you choose, it is definitely going to help you. You can use the articles, you can use the history of the Indian constitution, you can take certain important part of the constitution and give as an example in your essay to score high marks. So then GS1, when it comes to GS1, you can use the polity as a subject and the knowledge gained from the polity in your society part of your GS1. GS2, need not talk about because the entire GS2 is about polity, except your international relations. Even in international relations, you should know because there are certain articles like article 51, which speaks about the international relations. So even there, it has a direct bearing, uh, bearing on your IR as a subject. Next. When it comes to GS3, you have internal security. In internal security paper as well, you need to know under which list who is having the power to control which all subjects. If you do not know it, you will not know. Then at the state level, what are all the powers given for certain elements when it comes to internal security? You will always have issues with the central government and the state government fighting for certain jurisdictions over certain crimes. So unless you don't know the polity as a subject, you will not understand why they are fighting at the first place. Next, GS4, ethics paper, entire case studies, it is definitely going to help you. Then even in the theoretical part, you have an administration part in ethics, which will have to have a bearing if you do not know the polity as a subject. Okay, then certain optionals, not every optionals I can say has a bearing of polity, but it is definitely going to help you in your optionals as well. Then for the interview purpose, you should know what are your rights. Probably the questions might come up on the daily happenings, which will directly have a bearing on certain articles of the Indian constitution, which will have a bearing on the fundamental rights or which will have a bearing on the directive principles of state policy. So the person who masters the polity as a subject will definitely be a top ranker. He will definitely come in top 10 for sure. If he is weak in polity, then God save that person. So from the UPSC perspective, I hope it is clear now why you should be studying polity. Next, we will see other than UPSC, if you study polity, where, are it is, where all it is going to help you. So first is your state public service commission exam. So definitely most of the state civil services take up their pattern from the UPSC itself. 
certain states have just copy pasted the UPSC syllabus. So definitely I need not explain further on how to study for your state public service commission exam. Other than that you have SSC exams, you have RBI exams, you have several other government exams of the central government and the state government where the main syllabus is of polity. Even if you are writing any technical paper like RBI, so even there you have polity which has major bearing on your scoring. Forget about all this. You have your army exams, you have your navy or the air force exams. So even that just like AFCAT which is conducted by the air force. So even there polity has a bearing. So studying polity will never go waste irrespective of whether you are in the government sector or not. So the third importance when it comes to studying Indian polity as a subject if you are not part God forbid you don't get selected in the civil services or any government exam is it going to help you definitely it is going to help you irrespective of whichever field you are in the first field if you are a lawyer then I need not explain further the lawyers will know other than law field where all it is going to help you it is going to help you even in your journalism as a field. It is going to help you in your civic participation. As a citizen of the country, you should know what are your rights. As a citizen of the country, when you have the voting power above the age of 18, so you should know what are your rights, how you can utilize it. And if your rights are not being given, how can you utilize it? You always need not go to the court by hiring a lawyer. Sorry, it is called engaging, not hiring as per the recent judgments of the Supreme Court. So you need not always engage a lawyer when you know Indian polity there is a section 32 of the Advocates Act of 1961 where you can go and represent in person. Knowing your polity will actually help you or save you from several troubles in the country. So this is in short in nutshell why you should be studying polity as a subject. Okay. So hope it is clear. If any people have any doubt on why I should study polity probably it is clear. For more information, definitely join the foundation course. With the course, I will be explaining you on day-to-day -day basis on how polity as a subject is the most interesting one and how it is going to help you in your everyday life as a common man and a citizen of the country. Okay. So next, where to study polity from? The most important question and the part which has to be given primary importance. Without this, studying polity just like any other individual out of that 7 lakhs preparing for UPSC will make no difference because you will have to have the conceptual clarity when it comes to studying polity. So under that the first book to study the polity is the NCERTs especially 11th and 12th standard. Every word of it you will have to remember and you will have to study and you will have to understand. Second the most important book I can say even there are people who haven't touched the NCRT but they have just referred to Lakshmi Kant and cleared in last 10 to 15 years. Lakshmi Kant is also called the Bible for the Indian polity. Unfortunately, the UPSC has broken that particular notion in last two to three years. If you see the prelims paper or the mains paper, you will understand that just Lakshmi Kant is not enough. So the other extension part now comes because of the UPSC also nicknamed as the unpredictable public service commission exam. Okay, so the next one is you will have to read the constitution of India bare acts book. Why study constitution of India? You will have several questions which says according to the constitution is this particular office mentioned in the constitution for example there is a word called impeachment when you are studying polity you will study about impeachment not just for the honorable president but for other authorities as well but in UPSC a question might come whether impeachment is mentioned in the constitution or not that will not be covered in your first two part of the book so that how will you know only when you read the constitution Bayer Act book you will get to know what is part of constitution and what is not. Also when you read the constitution most of the times you will remember the words exactly. By that it will help you in deducting the final answer in your prelims or eliminating the unwanted options. So that is very important. Next the fourth one 
न्यूज पेपर न्यूज पेपर इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेदर इट इज स्टैटिक पार्ट और करंट अफेयर पार्ट मोस्ट ऑफ योर स्टैटिक पार्ट इन योर जी एस टू पेपर शेल हैव रिलेवेंस इन करंट अफेयर वेन यू रीड द न्यूज पेपर वेन यू रीड द एडिटोरियल यू विल गेट टू नो वाई दट पर्टिक्युलर न्यूज इज इन पिक्चर एंड हाउ यू कैन इंटरलिंक इट विथ योर स्टैटिक पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस सो दिस न्यूज पेपर स्पेशली द एडिटोरियल रिटर्न बाई सर्टन एडिटोरियल ऑफ people like pratap banu mehta people like christopher jafar let people like raja mohan will help you even clear your exams just by reading whatever they have written and writing it in your upsc mains answer so newspaper is another most important source next what are the other important sources it is the e books e books of different ministries so when you read these e books you will get to know which particular program is under which particular ministry it is under which particular department of the ministry and what are the pros and cons of it how much is the amount devolved to it and who is handling that particular ministry all these types of questions keep coming up in upsc and even in your mains especially so when you use these as your introduction or in your conclusion you have the chances of getting something called brownie points which is 0.5 marks more than your competitor because this is an competitive exam it is not that you get certain marks and you are in so you will have to snatch the seat from the jaws of your competitor for that definitely these are going to help the next important is the faqs the question and answers which are given in certain central government ministries websites so kindly go through it probably the questions shall be picked up from there then the last important part is the india yearbook because even if you miss out on certain things from the ebooks or from the newspapers the india yearbook is definitely going to help you to get that one or two questions correct which will become very very important if you are a seasoned veteran in the upsc you will get to know how even one wrong answer will affect your chances and spoil your next one year okay so very very important so these are some of the basic materials which you will have to refer when you are preparing for upsc from the polity perspective so other than this in the class i will be dictating notes on every topic i am going to dis discuss which is going to help you a lot in clearing your prelims and that notes what are, what i am going to dictate in the class can be used as your answers in the mains itself and get high scores okay so these are the materials or the reference for your polity as a subject next how to master polity i have the syllabus i have understood that what it takes to actually read polity so now how to master it because i gave you from the upsc perspective from the other government exams perspective and from the as a layman perspective if you are not part of upsc i want everybody who is seeing this video to clear upsc but as i already said you there are 7 lakh people who are competing so definitely not all 7 lakh can get in so the the seats are very limited so but that doesn't mean that once you are failed in upsc your life is over when you are reading polity as a subject the life will become more interesting the you will become a better person in whichever field you are so when you are doing something try to master it so then how do you master the polity the first most important thing is you need to have a very strong foundation in polity how do you do it that is the reason i said you will have to study the constitution of india why study constitution of india only then you will get to know what are the rights guaranteed to you by the constitution what is the right of your neighbor what is the right of a particular politician what are his powers what are your powers over him so all these things you will have to understand so only when you have a strong foundation you can go and you can argue with those people and you can win so nobody will take you for granted when that happens so having a strong foundation is very very important the second most important thing is having the cl conceptual clarity this is from the exam perspective because the question might sound like something for a layman but if you have mastered the polity and if you are pro in the syllabus you will understand that no what the question is asking is entirely different from what i am going to write or what the answer which majority of them will be writing one simple example if you remember in 2021 there was a question in prelims which said describe state or which of the following represents state so for a person who has mastered polity he mostly would have gone with the correct answer because there was confusing between option b and option c 
same way if you do not have conceptual clarity the chances of making mistakes are always on the higher side so having conceptual clarity is very very important next revising the constitution of india bear acts book this if you do not have any book on your study table good but you need to have this every now and then pick it up scan through two or three pages close it on daily basis whether you are preparing polity or preparing any other subject having this particular book on your table is very very important there are people who have maps on their walls there are people who do not want to go through with anything and all everybody is having the ee facility nowadays so they are having it on their ipads or laptops but this particular book is must and should to master the polity any doubts you have just pick up the book from your table read it you will get the clarity okay next as we already discussed one of the material for the preparation of polity is newspaper so here every day reading the newspaper is very very important because you don't know on what day what issue is going to happen i will give you a simple example here after the recent tripura election what happened was an mp and an serving minister in the council of ministers in the central government got elected as an mla so there in the newspaper they had clearly mentioned you now what will happen if she doesn't choose within a particular period of time whether her seat in the tripura assembly will get vacant or her seat in the uh, parliament will get vacant so all these things maybe it will act like a revision to you and for those who have skipped that particular part in your polity itself in the lakshmi kant book then this will act like an actual information to you which you can use it in your prelims and the mains part so do not skip the newspaper very important next you should know the important constitutional amendments because just by reading the bare acts you might get what the articles are there and what are not but the constitutional amendments is something related to current affairs which keeps happening with every passing year which may or may not be part of the bare acts book which you are already having so get to know when and what amendments are happening in the country which is done by the parliament so by doing it you will get understand that what is important and what is not i will give you a simple example most of the lakshmi kant book still has something called there are two members to be nominated to the lok sabha by the honorable president as per the original constitution but as per the 104th constitutional amendment that particular thing is removed so how will you know that particular thing is part or not unless you don't know the important current affairs from the newspaper and the constitutional amendment perspective so that is very important next the recent supreme court judgments it is must and should why is it must and should without this your entire answer might get wrong why simple example as per your lakshmi kant or as per your constitution or as per any book it says the chief election commissioner is appointed by the president based on the advice of the prime minister is it true no because as per the recent supreme court judgment it the chief election commissioner shall be appointed by the president based on the advice of the committee consisting of the prime minister the leader of opposition and the chief justice of india this is as per the supreme court judgments but that particular judgment is not in the form of an direction to the parliament to make changes because the supreme court does not have the power to direct something to the parliament so as per the constitution and as per the rules it remains still the prime minister shall advise the president and president will appoint so when you know this you can use it in your mains answer and definitely you are going to come out with flying colors that is the reason you are doing all this so kindly go step by step and try to master the polity with this short things it doesn't take much of your time but it is definitely going to help you get rewards for the entire life irrespective of whether you are part of the civil services or not okay so this is in short about why to master polity how to master polity then from where to master polity so for more details on this and to become the pro or the master in polity kindly join ias baba's foundation course and i will help you master this polity in the foundation course see you at ias baba thank you